Welcome back to another edition of Rudy's Rants from Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Show Mott, and I'm here to rant again, man. I tell you what, we just finished this uh, Indiana Fever um, Dallas Wings game, and you get to see record performances, and yet the Indiana Fever find another way to lose against a bad team because they have absolutely atrocious coaching. It's just that simple. 101 to 93. This team defensively is so bad. They're so bad on defense. But their coach makes decisions that are utterly painful to watch. It's like she's not watching the game. It's like she's, she come, I mean, again, they come out in the first, and they're walking the ball up the court. They're not running pick and roll. They're running these. They're running stuff that doesn't produce offense. It's very, very frustrating to watch. And you see Dallas, who's a bad team, five and nineteen, has lost seventeen of nineteen games. Is four and seven. Well, it was three and seven at home. And you get this. A game in which Indiana trailed by as many as, I think, 16 or 17 in the first half. They come back. They take the lead. They're up six in the fourth quarter. Caitlin Clark has taken the game over. Oh, did I mention Caitlin Clark set a WNBA record for assists in a game? She finished with 24 points and 19 rebounds. I mean, sorry, 24 points and 19 assists. 19 assists. It's a WNBA record. Not rookie record. A WNBA record record and she probably should have had 25 25 because her teammates cannot convert layups melissa smith has blocked layup attempts lexi hull misses a point blank wide open layup on an outlet pass Aaliyah boston misses a layup on a bunny Drop down behind the back pass. There was a stat they had put up where she'd be the first player, I think, or whatever, second player in all time to go for 25 and 15, but she never hit her 25th point. From the time they said it, she didn't score again. Um, she missed a three um, that she was wide open. I think I, I honestly think Caitlin Clark's a little bit gun shy from three right now. She's taking them, but she's not taking them with confidence. She she's she's seemingly thinking about it. She had a wide open three where she, she's, she's thinking about shooting a little bit too much from the perimeter. And I think she's thinking about it because her coach has done that to her. She's trying so, so hard to get her teammates involved. Today, Kelsey Mitchell was a rather non-factor until she hit a three with, uh, to make it 93, 93 in the final few minutes. But overall, Kelsey Mitchell was practically was not much of a factor in this game. She had two terrible defensive lapses that allowed J.C. Sheldon to hit open threes on back-to-back -back possessions. This team has no concept of how to help about help defense and rotations. It, it, it's over and over and over. You're up six points, and immediately thereafter, Dantes fouls them under the rim. Give them the layup. Give them the layup. But Christy Sides continues to put out this dreck. And it's always the team has to come together to find a way to dig from a hole because they're walking the ball up the floor in the first half, not running pick and roll. And it's over and over and over and over again. But Caitlin Clark is balling, going to the rim, getting to the rim. She's seven for 10 on twos. She's, she was two for nine on threes. She missed a cuff, about two or three that I were just she has to make. But I think, again, I think she's gun shy right now. She's passed up probably. There was a few layups she passed up, which those frustrate me because she has to stop worrying about always getting them involved and take the layup. This, this, this thought, this notion where you kick out for three when you have a wide open layup, I despise it. It's a WM, it's, a, it's an NBA thing that's now permeating the WNBA. When you have a layup, take your layup because you can't rely on someone to hit a 23-foot jump shot. And in the first half, the Indiana Fever couldn't make a shot from the perimeter. Nobody could. Aaliyah Boston has a career-high 28 points. But they can't defend. 
Arike Agumabawale hits some miracle shot at the shot clock buzzer because Lexi Hull tips the ball but can't get the ball, and she flicks it up, and it goes in. She lets it go just before it comes off of her finger. It was really, really close. I mean, they called it good, so it wasn't going to get overturned. But Caitlin Clark was magnificent tonight. Magnificent. She committed a couple of late turnovers, um, unfortunately, that, you know, uh, she gets trapped hard. She finished with six turnovers. I'm looking at 24 points, 19 assists, six rebounds, six turnovers. She had a couple late. I mean, whatever. The game was over. The last one, the game was pretty much over. But she gets abandoned by her team. She didn't come out the game. She played 40 minutes. This inability for Christy Sides to get her a blow early on is ridiculous. Samuelson plays 28 minutes. Boston plays 28 minutes. I'm, I'm trying to figure out why Boston plays 28 minutes. She only had three fouls. Why is she sitting for so long? Melissa Smith plays 27. They made the run with Melissa Smith sitting on the bench, and then they bring her back in, and she has a block shot on a layup, another block shot on a layup. Her block, her second block shot on a layup turns into a fast break the other way at 93 all. That gives a fa- makes Caitlin Clark have to foul. Um, Howard for Dallas, who then makes both free throws, and they take the lead at 95-93. But the, the, the defensive lapses in this game on the three-point, on, on those two threes by J.C. Sheldon, uh, they were wide open shots, wide open shots. But at the same time, Clark can't rely on her teammates to make open shots. Katie Lou Samuelson has one job, one job, make jump shots, make threes. And she can't do it. One for six. And every three she has is absolutely wide open. Lexi Hull has one job, make open threes from the corner. She finally made one today, but she also missed three that were wide open. She missed one in the final, down 90 to 88, wide open on a pass from Caitlin Clark. Then Samuelson misses one, top of the key, wide open for Caitlin Clark. You, you, this is what happens. You, she, she's re, she has to rely on these people who are, yeah, she had 19 assists. Most of those assists are layups. I am like when pe- people talk about how you make your players around you better, this is how you make them make them better around you. You put them in positions to score. I think Caitlin Clark had two or three assists on jump shots because Clark had two threes. The rest of the team had four. They finished six of twenty-five from three. Completely inefficient from three. They won the rebounding battle, but at times it looked like they were losing that battle. It, 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 it's absolutely, you know, uh, ridiculous. Odyssey Sims has a great game for um, Dallas. Uh, Ariga Gumbawale had a really good game for Dallas. They both played pretty much the entire game. But those two threes from J.C. Sheldon in the fourth quarter on Kelsey Mitchell just running around with her chick- like a chicken with her head cut off. What are you doing? They just, they don't play smart. They don't play smart. This is the second time that they've lost to a bad team after a big win over a good team. You lose, you beat the Liberty. Big comeback. You lose to the Mystics. Caitlin Clark goes off. You play the freaking Lynx. You win on the road. You come back. And right before the break, you, I mean, Caitlin Clark goes off again. You have a six-point lead, and Christy Sides finds ways to screw this up. She didn't personally screw it up in the fourth quarter outside of putting Alyssa Smith back in the game and taking Dantes out, who was doing a pretty good job. Melissa Smith forgets what her role is in basketball. She should have a role that is similar to Angel Reese under the basket. Look to grab rebounds. Look for putbacks. You're not good enough to have shit run through you. You have to finish layups when you're open. It's perplexing watching her play. Aaliyah Boston has a great game. 28, 28 and 8. But I want to know why she's missing it. Not she's sitting for 12 minutes. This is a game she can't be sitting for 12 minutes. Caitlin Clark was absolutely sensational tonight. 
sensational. And she's still passing up shots she needs to take. 19 assists. She was leading the league in assists coming in. She's now extended that lead. She had more than almost triple the amount of assists that she averages coming in. So her seven point is going to jump to about 8.5, I'm guessing. Something like that. But she played 40 minutes today. I'm not saying Christy Wallace should play a lot, but she does she play at all anymore? Grace Berger is, a, is an invisible freaking figure on this team. Every time Erica Wheeler hits the floor, it's a, it's, there's a headache. It's a problem. I thought Dantas did a fairly decent job, but then when she's doing a decent job, she, she makes a stupid mistake and fouls on a, 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 with a six-point lead, gives them an and one, then they come back and commit a freaking 24-second violation because players who have the ball in their hands won't shoot the ball. I, I disappointed to say the least, but not shocked. Not not shocked at all. Disappointed, but not shocked. These are the types of games that Indiana loses. Bad teams after big after good wins. They come in thinking that they're going to walk over somebody. They play absolutely no fucking defense. The first quarter was an abomination. They're down seven, 27-20. You know they're down eight at the half. They down two going into the fourth. They take the lead, and then they lose by they lose by eight. They got outscored in the final. They were up eighty. What was the time? What time period were they up? Eighty. They were up eighty-two to seventy-six with seven oh three to go. They got outscored the rest of the way, twenty-five to eleven. I, I, I don't understand it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I, I, I watched the game and I don't get it. I don't understand how a team can be so in, incompetent defensively on, on, on rotations. Their on-ball defense is, by everyone is bad. Their off-ball defense by everyone is bad. <laughs> it, it's crazy. It's crazy. So this is what Christy Sides does. She puts Melissa Smith in, who then that makes all these mistakes, and then pulls her out with 90 seconds left in a two-point game. And immediately thereafter, the person who comes in for her, Kenny Lou Samuelson, misses a wide-open three. A wide-open three. You have one job. That's your only job. But the girl whose job is to hit threes on Dallas made hers. I mean, the, the shot that Ogumbawale hit was a killer. And then Caitlin Clark turned the ball over because three people literally attacked her. She has to be better and not, and not you know, she has to pick it up. And then she has to call timeout. But and then they, and then they give up the ball with 35 seconds. And Christy Sides... They wait 11 seconds to foul Goomba Wale. You either play the fucking shot clock out, try to get the ball back down four, hit a shot, then you foul, or you foul immediately. You don't burn 11 seconds before Kelsey Mitchell fouls the best free throw shooter on the floor for the Dallas Wings. It's 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 wild. It's wild. <laughs> Absolutely wild. Once again, another outstanding performance by Caitlin Clark is blown by her teammates. Blown, not by all of them. Aaliyah Boston played great. But the rest of them, for the most part, were just not there. And then Alyssa Smith finished with 13. Mitchell had 13. This is the game that Kelsey Mitchell should have 25. Dallas is horrible defensively. Horrible. Horrible. And Samuelson has three. Dantes has six. Hull has six. Caitlin Clark was responsible for 24, 19, 38. At the very least, 
62 points of this offense. I think, and some of them are threes. She doesn't get credits for assists when they get fouled and make free throws. But she had layups missed on the, in this game. Layups, again, uncontested layups missed. She should have had 25 assists. She's figured this league out, man. She's figured it out. She's attacking the rim better. She's not. The things that Odyssey Sims was trying to do to her, if she had played her probably in the first eight to ten games, would have probably affected her. But now she's seeing that she can just take all these girls to the rim, and they can't stop her. They can't stop her. She's too good. But a disappointing end to another another game in which Caitlin Clark is absolutely sensational. And her coach just starts off with another ridiculous game plan. When they finally start running pick and roll in the second half, what do you think happened? It worked over and over and over and over and over again. There's a, there was an episode of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air when I was a young, young kid. With, when Will Smith is, it was pass it to Will, pass it to Will. The play is pass it to Will. And I'm not saying the play should be passed to Caitlin. But when anyone besides Caitlin Clark has the ball offensively, not from a perspective of shooting, but from a perspective of trying to create, they absolutely fail. The first possession of the game, Indiana gets a steal. And Melissa Smith is by herself fast break and commits a double dribble. Going in for a layup. Commits a double dribble. Yes, we saw, we've seen it in the, in the NBA, it goes uncalled. We saw injuries get away with it, it went uncalled. It was a double dribble. It was a double dribble. You're by yourself. Blow it. First two possessions of the game. Melissa Smith is turning the ball over. Four turnovers from a person who barely handles the ball. She had another possession, and I think it was in the fourth quarter, where she's dribbling the ball up the, up the left-hand side. Caitlin Clark is trailing her. And what does Delissa Smith try to do? She tries to be cute with it and loses the ball out of bounds. Rather than stop, turn around, kick it back out to your freaking point guard who is wide open, who could have taken either the three or set the freaking play up. Or, or potentially, if you get it back to her and cut to the rim, give you a, a, a give and go right to the rim for a layup. But instead, she wants to be the hero and she loses the ball out of bounds. Man, oh man, oh man. I mean, the mistakes that this team makes, I mean, between her and Lexi Hull, Hull cannot control the ball either. Hull has no handles whatsoever. None. But every time someone else besides Caitlin Clark has the ball in their hands, trying to create something on offense, it fails. It's bad. It doesn't work. They don't have the ability. That's probably why she has to play 40 minutes a game. But you know what? They're down 16 in the first half because their coach has this bullshit. Walk the ball up the floor. Run the high post. We're not going to freaking run pick and roll in the first quarter. We're going to try to dish the ball. I'm sorry. I'm sweating so much. I was just watching him. I was, I'm fired up. And we're going to dip, put it into the high post. And we're going to run plays for everybody else but our best player. She's going to try her best to get everybody involved. And they're going to blow layups. They're going to miss layups on wide open passes. I, I, I mean, it's crazy. And yet she still breaks a WNBA record. Anyhow, they have a break now for three weeks because the All-Star game is on Saturday, and then they have the Olympics. Hopefully for Caitlin Clark, she's going to get some rest if, she's not gonna, if they don't end up putting her on the Olympic team because half that team is injured right now, but they're all going to seemingly manage to play. Just it's crazy. Anyhow, this is a horrible loss for the, for the Indiana Fever. This is the, at least the third really, really horrendous loss for this team in the past. Like, they're 10-6 and six in the last 16, and now they're 10-7, and seven, and the three losses are to the Chicago Sky, a 15-point lead blown, the Washington Mystics, and the Dallas Wings. Are you kidding? They should be 13-4. and They should be 13-4. and four. They should be sitting right now at 14-11. and 11. Instead, they're 11-15. and 15. It's a damn shame. Blowing another great performance. That's all I got. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and share that. Share the video. Ring that bell. Come on now.